boom shakalaka whoa thank you thank you very much hey all right hashtag no regrets what does that mean to you what it means to me at 53 years young is that I when I'm on my deathbed and I'm checking out of this life and going to the next hopefully it's 45 years from now but it could be today Get your shit ready, man. You never know. That I did right by my father, my mother, and my children. The people closest to us. My father? Check. My dad passed away three years ago, maybe four. He was in the hospital, died slowly of advanced emphysema, drowned in his own lungs, a miserable slow death. He was in the hospital, basically suffering a nervous breakdown because he knew... He was going to die. And the doctors were giving him drugs. And I said, Mom, let's bring him home. Let's bring him home. Put him in his own bed. And let's bring him home. We can take get balance the meds. My mom's like, oh my God, it's like 10 meds. I We can't do it. I said, yes, we can. Brought him home. I stayed with my mom and father in their house for an entire year until his last breath. And with the help of hospice, he passed peacefully with a smile on his heart. It was amazing situation to experience it was everything and that entire year was amazing conversations amazing laughter and it was awesome so i feel good about that my two daughters wicked divorce nine years ago two families ripped apart by cheating lying scandal wicked lost communication with myself my daughters and pretty much everybody Fast forward eight, whoops, whoo, peekaboo. Fast forward eight, nine years later, with the grace of God and with the help of six to seven people, raising my, ta my daughters for the last five years without a mother in their life, living together, it's an amazing feeling. I feel love from them I've never felt before. I hope they feel love for me that they've never felt before, love and support that their father's going to be by them, by their side. Not that I'm perfect, but they're growing into mature, independent, beautiful women. My mother. My mother's 79. God, we had just an amazing road trip this last weekend. She's coming out of an illness, a blood cancer. Thought I was going to lose her to the meds. And now she's getting stronger. And I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more time rich so I can do things like a 10 hour road trip on Saturday and surprise birthday party for my mom's sister and laugh and create lasting moments that will take for with us forever and then a 12 hour road trip back laughing stopped dead stop on traffic on uh, road construction after driving 11 hours back and we're still laughing and we're at a standstill and creating moments that are awesome If my mom was to pass today, if I was to pass today, I'd feel a huge love in my heart for my father, my two daughters, and my mother. I don't want to go. Don't get me wrong. What can you do if you're not feeling good about important relationships with yourself first and even strangers, you know? Here's what I'll tell you. I believe it's becoming more transparent and 100% truthful with yourself and with others around you. It's that simple. Cut out the bullshit. Start being real with yourself and get ready to leave nothing on the table and to leave a legacy behind that echoes for eternity with the impact that you had on the people around you. Yourself, your family, your friends, your contacts, your work peers, and strangers, and even Mother Nature. I love you. You do have the power to change to make the rest of your life the best of your life. Boom.